Hello, we're Martin and Helen, and two months ago we set off in our motorhome across on the Eurotunnel to France, where we stayed the night on a chateau, visited a war crimes site, walked part of the Camino pilgrim route before travelling over the Pyrenees into Spain, where we were rained on before riding our bikes in the lemon fields with friends. Walked into Benidorm, stayed the night on a monastery site, visited an Islamic palace before deciding to head for the beach. So we're staying at Malaga Area Beach Camping Park. It's a big camping park, there's lots of campers on. You have to book even at this time of year. It's run by two wonderfully eccentric ladies. And I mean that in the, with the highest regard. I love quirky places and I love quirky people. And there's just a smile on your face at the moment you arrive here. These are interesting uh, folks and they uh, look after the place very well. This, uh, site has its own shop. We'll either serve food for you or you can buy food. I bought uh, a baguette and two croissants for three euros this morning. This is reception. You can hire bikes. There is internet. Free use for half an hour. It's not fantastic to be fair, but uh, it is what it is. An area here where you can set it if you want to. And I'll show you the facilities. Individual showers. Not a bad thing in current times. And toilets, they are um, I guess cabins really converted, but they do the job. There is a fee for water in the showers. You can see it's a straightforward basic shower. Washing machine on the end. And the motor on service point, which I think is reasonably impressive. To say you come across good facilities in Europe, there's no doubt, but these are as good as, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Very good. Up on a ramp, drain down, food grade, water, fresh water pipe supplied, everything all in one place. Across the way, six chemical emptying points and dishwashing over there. And, uh, yeah. And coming up is the gate to the beach. Out at the campsite, and onto the seafront. Yes. Here we go. This is nice. I think I might have overestimated the need for a top. Yeah. I'm carrying mine because I wasn't sure, yeah. but uh, you know, I think it might just um, alter a little bit. 
He's kind of got a really good vibe going on down here. It's, uh, it's very quiet because it's not quite season time yet, but uh, it's a real privilege to be down here. It's lovely. Take a check. Es que a ti te pienso tanto, no creo que solo sea amor. Por ti he vivido y el mundo y la mitad en mi corazón. Baby, tú y yo. Good morning. It's that time of the day commonly known as Cracker Sparrows. Um, it's pre-sunrise. Martin is out and about photographing somewhere. So me and Pops are going to go and find him. Now experience has taught me that he could be absolutely anywhere. And we do have apps on our phones so we can find each other just in case one of us is out running or photographing or doing something like that and the other one can find them just in case they have a bit of a, an accident or something like that but uh, he's going to be down here somewhere he could be in a looking over the sea he could be looking at buildings he could be anywhere so me and Pops are on are on route to find him Sé que no la pruebe que me gustará Si no quiero algo serio que no vaya más Me tiene adictivo a ese mirar Y esos labios, baby, que quiero besar Tú eres como el deseo que tuve de niño Y ahora ese sueño que ya es realidad Ya tú sabemos dónde va el camino Directo a la ducha, baby, vamos a hacerlo ya Es que ya, baby, que se da, se da Si es contigo, vamos al cielo I think it's fair to say I'm not a morning person. Not until uh, two cups of coffee have passed my lips anyway. And I think Martin would co probably quite agree with that. Every time we've got up though, and we've come out to try and capture the sunrise, we've always been rewarded. And it is really special to be up and to watch the world come into life. Good morning. We're out on our bikes. We're definitely going to Malaga, but how far? I don't know. We'll have to see. But the sun's shining, so we don't really care. Well, that was a good ride. It's only about eight, nine miles down the uh, road. It's pretty steady because you've got to weave through people, haven't you? And so there's a lot of people out today. A lot of today. people. So it's not really yeah. an exercise ride. Yeah. It's just a, a convenience or a method of transport, really, the bikes today. 
But it's quite a nice day as you can see and uh, we've been down to look at the boat the big boats in the harbour it's the nice private yachts as well oh. uh, we're gonna make oh, our way back now have some lunch and then probably go for a walk in the afternoon so we're getting to know the area a little bit it's quite nice it's lovely very nice yeah these big steel boats with logs on, they're cooking on, look amazing. A little bit of tapas. A bit of tapas, yeah. How's your curry, H? Mm. Really nice. Very, very tasty. So we're sat in Spain. Eating curry. Eating curry and drinking beer. Yes. Out of ten? Oh, eleven. <laughs> This place is absolutely buzzing. You couldn't help but like it here. It's amazing. This is my happy face. Life doesn't get much better than that for me. I love this. So here we are, back at base. What a day. It's only half day over. We've enjoyed being here. We've booked three nights, 57 euros. It's um yeah, very popular because you're straight out onto the beach, you can turn left, walk for three, four miles in one direction, or you can turn right and walk about eight miles into Malaga itself, which is an interesting experience. Or of course you can bike um, along the way as well. There's a series of interconnecting tunnels which means that it's easily uh, done, there's no hills involved. And so regardless of your level of fitness or, or your abilities, you, you can certainly do that. This is, um, yeah, we'll come back here, definitely recommend it. I'll show you a little bit of footage as we go around and you'll see that uh, typically in Europe really if you're used to your 12 meters or your 12 feet either side of your pitch you're not going to get that in Europe that's not how it works here certainly not on the airs um, and there will always be people that talk about the safety of that um, it just is what it is really if you want to come here that's what you get and I think I'll just leave it at that well coffee on good morning are you Ben Becula this morning I'm Ben Becula and I'm yeah. South Hewitt yes Probably ought to turn it around and show you. We um, a little bit of a plug actually for uh, Coral Cafe on the Coral Box. Coral Box sorry, yeah, on Burneray. On Burneray on the uh, Outer Hebrides, mm. where we went last year. A uh, delightful little shop run by a lady called Ailey. Ailey. Um, very pleasant individual. Yes. We made us very welcome. Yes, and she's also a camper vanner. And a camper vanner mm. to boot, and yeah. a diver, freshwater fish. Take some great, yeah, some great wildlife um, pictures. Yeah, somebody who's quite an interesting individual. So if you go up there, make sure to give her uh, her a call. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're packing up this morning. We're moving on. Um, having done the sort of east coast of Spain now and along the bottom to Malaga, we're going to head off to Ronda today. Ronda. Yeah. And uh, partly a little bit of a weather front coming in. Mm. Um, sort of uh, going to make a few decisions during the day. It might make us change his mind, but um, we'll see what it's like. We're hoping to get to Ronda may stay there the night may not depending on how that works out and ultimately by tomorrow tea time we'll be in Portugal hopefully fingers crossed for uh, a little bit of that phase of the journey and um, as you know our plans ultimately are to go back into the northern Spain for Easter mm -hmm. and into the Picos and do some hill walking um, so it's quite exciting plans really yes looking it's forward flown, to it. Hasn't it it's gone really uh, quick so we're about halfway through the trip yeah. and um, it's flown so we're yeah. looking forward to it so Stay with us and um, see what we get up to.